here we are. This is Sex Love Psychedelics, and I'm your host, Dr. Kat. Bringing you psychosexual conversations that will leave you intellectually turned on and hungry for more. And that's where I want to start with. You know, uh, I'm most curious here about how you came across the intersection of ancient cultures and psychedelics and um, sex. Like, how did you, how did, how did that land in your lap? I would say it's all ayahuasca's fault. Yeah, it, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Blame her. <laughs> bless her bless her uh but um yeah it's been all my my journeys with ayahuasca that um that she started um not only you know like showing me my my path Mm -hmm. but also in doing so um showing me how these has been things we, we we have been doing from the beginning of time so I don't know if that had to do with my resistance to the path that she was showing me that was mine. And I was like, no, 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 this cannot be my path. So over the course of maybe 20 ceremonies in the course of a couple of years that she was repeating the same message, she found different ways of bringing this message to me as in why this was my path. And over time, uh, it started increasing the you know um the points that she was making Mm -hmm. as why I had to step up when I was kind of you know dismissing the message in a way Mm -hmm. for context 15 years ago is not what it is today and you know I I really it hasn't been an easy path to step up anyway but I kind of figure you don't escape your destiny so better you embrace it. it took me a while to get to that point but over over the years, um, yeah, she was kind of showing me how this is um, the most natural thing that we women have been doing since the beginning of time, how we used to heal with plants and with sexuality and actually how even um, polyamory as a structure, you know, that it used to also be back in the days, uh, you know, kind of even the, the celebratory aspect of how we used to gather in tribes and dance to the elements in nature and taking psychedelics. So there, there has been a lot of um, my ceremonies that had a lot of emphasis around um, what we have been doing since the beginning of time that correspond to our gender and how my incarnation at this time had to do with bringing to the forefront of humanity these these practices that we lost along the way. Mm-hmm. Um, so I would say that has been the first, uh, you know, like kind of downloads mm-hmm. of all of these. And then um, as I started deepening into life and my own explorations and moving to India and, you know, they say that India gives you what you need. And and so for me, in that case was, you know, a deep dive into Tantra mm-hmm. and then eventually um, Father Mio came um, to the table when I surrendered to her. I say, OK, let's say yeah. that I hear you, that this is my path, then what's next and mm-hmm. so she guided me into working with five and then is when I started seeing these correlations right mm-hmm. between tantra and sexuality so yeah I would I would say that um it's all thanks to the um, abuelita yeah yeah it and it's uh I would say the same for me it really opened up my eyes at that point um I did a, another episode with Reverend Brianna Lynn where we talk about the eroticism of ayahuasca. And mm-hmm. she, it, it was like, so I had already been studying Tantra for a few years at that point when I first sat in ceremony with ayahuasca. And, and it was the same space that I could enter into a tantric space of this like rolling energetic orgasm through my body using my own breath and my movement and and these interesting like textural sounds coming out of my mouth and it was the the highest state of ecstasy (laughs) that I could could have like embodied it was like can I hold all of this and and you can you learn that you can when you use 
you know, your own body as this container to, to move and, and, um, uh, yeah, to move that energy and harness that energy. Right. And, and actually how they are complementary, right? Because, um, so for instance, uh, I had my Kundalini activation after I started when, when I'm already in India and I start practicing Tantra for a couple of months and suddenly I'm smoking Shilum, right? Like that is kind of this pipe that contain cheras, that is the hash that the Babas uh, smoke in the Himalayas and mm-hmm. smoking Shilum suddenly, like I started going into temporary state of enlightenment. My whole body started going into construction and it awakened this energy. It wasn't necessarily a pleasurable process. It was actually Mm -hmm. quite painful for how the energy started to move. Um, So much so that eventually it was so intense that I ended up having surgery in India, you know? Uh, Right. But so what I'm saying is like, these are physiological real stuff, but the role of how endogenous, because it was only smoking while smoking that that catalyst experience happened, right? Mm-hmm. So then it 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 naturally um, in my own exploration showed me how they actually go together really well, mm-hmm. and the fact that when we do ceremonies they put women separate from men, I think that it has to do more with male that are holding the ceremonies not knowing what to do with all that sexual energy mm. that start coming to surface right rather that and so that is like let's just keep them separate mm. but ayahuasca in its own in my own journeys was showing me that actually the highest form of craft that it used to be practiced back in the days had to do with the combination of both to manifest into form. Uh, what do say. you mean by that? Do you mean like mixing the genders or or where? Mi- mixing uh, sexuality with psychedelics. So, you know, like a lot of the current traditions is like, let's separate mm, the yeah. genders, men on one side, women on the other side. But that is, I I for the insight that I got on my, my intuition is, is just because they don't know how to manage that otherwise. So that's why they separate mm. rather than it's actually uh, something that interwoven so great. And that in a way kind of became a lot of my path. Um, and maybe that's why she was showing me those things in, in the ceremonies over and over again, right? The correlation and the complement that happened with psychedelic experiences to tap into one creative force. Um, it really facilitate this encounter. And if you had a trauma, uh, sexual trauma, it would bring it to surface mm-hmm. for you to, you know, work on it and release it. Um, and if you don't, it would connect you with this force in a different way that you may have never encountered it before mm-hmm. right and um and then serving medicine eventually the the decade later it was to ob- observe these across the board when I was serving 5-MeO and doing it in private ceremonies you know in progressive dosing and seeing that this was something that was repeating um for everyone that I would serving now and so yeah I, I think that this is not something very much talk about yeah uh right um but in my own personal exploration and in my own private practice is mm-hmm. a common denominator um that I've seen over and over again so yeah that is kind of part of my passion and also what we are bringing to market yeah with Nana is yeah. you know the the importance of understanding your sexual energy uh, as your life force and how to circulate it um is essential for mental health and well-being well that was fun thanks for tuning in lovers and if you want to experience more ecstasy and sexual liberation head over to sexlovepsychedelics.com 
and learn about how you can join me for any one of my online or live events. And while you're there, grab my free guide on sex and psychedelics. Remember, this podcast is for entertainment and educational purposes only. Please contact your healthcare provider and local law before pursuing any of the products or psychedelics discussed. And one final note here, I make this show specifically for you. If you're loving the show, then be sure to leave me a review in iTunes or Spotify to let me know. Happy to be here and happy to serve. I'll see you next time on Sex Love Psychedelics.